Hey, how's it going? Chris here. I'm going to show you my install of my 12 volt power socket in the bed of my Silverado. Did it myself. Used uh, self tapping drilling screws there, split wire loom, those metal cable holder upper electrical deals, and uh, 10 AWG THHN wire. This is something like I use. I can't remember if it's 10 or 12 amps, but. Uh, it's not bad, but uh, I need something with a little bit more power because I ran direct to battery with that 30 gauge. So I went onto eBay and I found this 25 amp one and I just got them in today. And I do have to say they are really, really slick. And I may pop that one out since it's it'll screw right in just fine and uh, make it a 25 amp service. Now I'm gonna show you uh, some of my work here. Between the uh, bed of the truck and the cab there there's two holes access holes and I put the wire through that split loom there you know in the cab of the truck there's like a little air vent thing it's really hard to show in the video but it's behind that seat there and I just took a razor blade and made a little slit pulled the wires through there and made sure that the seat belt you know for safety is wouldn't get in the way of the seat belt you see right down there and then I just essentially just tucked them underneath those plastic trim pieces right there you know for the side foot wall and the pillar thing there just pull those back a little bit easy peasy there and then underneath there same deal now what I'm going to show you next is the tricky part I had to take all this stuff off here unscrew that air dam thing there and I actually found a access hole on the uh, door jam side right here. Let me show you. I was gonna go through that rubber grommet, but you can't. But right up there, there's a little rubber grommet slash hole that I snaked the wire through. Let me show you, I don't know if you can see that. And then I just fed it into the fender wall, into the engine bay. Let's take a look underneath the hood here. As you can see, the wire in the split loom there and then let's see if I can get up here real close and I'll show you okay here we go uh, this is right on the positive terminal of the Chevrolet's OEM battery and I used 1012 heat shrinkable eyelet crimps on there then I just kind of want to pull this off here it didn't work out so good there's a 25 amp fuse in there, ATC style. This other one here is for my Battery Tender Junior with an SAE connector. Yeah, I'll show you here. This, see here. Okay. Let's take a look at the connections I did on here. Use double adhesive heat shrink, marine grade, for those eyelet connectors. Cleaned all the terminals, you know, with uh, steel wool. Made sure everything was good and clean. On there, and I'll show you the negative side right down here. Good and clean, good and tight. Pretty happy with the way this thing turned out, but I'll tell you, it took a lot of time and a lot of scrape knuckles. Now, here's some of the uh, hardware that I use. This is the THHN 10 gauge, good for 30 amps. This is also good for 30 amps, too. The yellow, that's what I use on the battery terminal lugs and this is that good marine grade adhesive heat shrink a couple of layers over the top of that eyelet there too after I heat shrunk it that's the way you want to do it all right here <laughs> I just got this uh, 12 volt Dewalt lithium ion battery charger good for their 12 and 20 volt max batteries just want to test it out here on this outlet and it works great got this on eBay for a lot less than what you pay on Amazon for like a hundred bucks on Amazon. I got for like fifty-eight or no sixty bucks. And here, uh, I'm just I just threw it in the underneath the seat here. I got one of those GM storage things underneath the back seat there, and I just threw it in there. And here's my uh, half-inch drive impact uh, driver wrench, whatever the hell you call this, and it has a uh, thing there for the lugs. So I can pull off, pull the lugs off if I need to. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, 
hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think. Later.